guys, so today was a pretty productive day in the life. Just lots of cleaning around these days and stuff. I didn't even have time to talk to the camera because I was just trying to hustle, get the house ready for our showings, give the doggies some treats first because they've been such troopers during all of this transition period. But we had two showings, one at 11 a.m. and we had one at I think like 2 p.m. or something, but which is kind of just an awkward time apart because usually they're only like 30 minutes long and we have to get the dogs out of the house and the cat out of the house and I have to mop the floors and everything so it was easier for us actually to just be gone all day which later we will like leave the house and go to Garrett's mom's house but yeah I'm pretty much just cleaning up the house getting everything ready to go I move everything out to make it look as clean and simple as possible move all the blankets and everything so enjoy me cleaning up the house so bad for them normally I take them to the dog park all the time and Finn actually has like an injured hip right now so he can't run anyway uh, we're trying to let them lay low but they've been such troopers they just follow me around everywhere and they definitely can tell that something's changing they seem to be a little bit stressed but we are officially a week out from driving away from here with the U-Haul so we leave on the 28th down to Arizona very exciting transition for us and it, I just can't believe it's actually happening now because we've been planning this for like three years and we kind of just decided to make it work right now. Step, mop in my way out the door so I mop the whole house and then leave. I've been doing Goodwill runs like probably every other day just bringing in little things that I find. We don't have too much stuff to get rid of but uh, we've downsized a lot over the years every single move that we had so just a few of Garrett's old bats that he hasn't used in a long time that doesn't want. We went and got some breakfast sandwiches at Starbucks because we had eaten all day and then went to Garrett's mom's house and just hung out for a few hours with the dogs and cats. Their noses reaching the counter is definitely a problem. They don't usually get the food, but they definitely want it. Um, but yeah, we just got to hang out here and watch Special Forces a little bit with Hannah Brown. It's super interesting to watch that show. So when we were on our way home after that second showing was done, we were starving first of all. So we ate some food um, and I decided to get a little bit more laundry and a little bit of work done. Uh, but we ended up getting another notification that we had another showing in like an hour and a half um, after that. So we locked the dogs up in the office with Garrett to work a little bit just so they wouldn't get the house dirty again. And I continued to get a little bit of work done and take a quick shower just because I felt disgusting from working all day uh, before we head out for the next showing. that last showing and basically just put the house back together to how we live here. We let the dogs on the couch but only on the blanket areas so they don't ruin it. Sometimes their paws are dirty still after being outside. Um, so yeah, they just love to hang out on the couch and then I start to bring everything back in. We always have air purifiers because we have three animals. So bringing the air purifiers back in and our little robot vacuum to charge, just kind of putting our house back together until we get a notification that we have another showing and then we have to do it all over again. Um, but yeah, so I pretty much finished the night off with a glass of white wine. I got a little bit of 
work done. I had to organize some of my lists to make sure I stay organized with this move and get everything done in time. Like I said, we have a week before the day we drive away. My parents are coming this Friday to come help us move and stay here with us. So that's very helpful. I'm very thankful for that. And Garrett's family will be helping us as well. Um, these, if you've never used these aerators, they literally help you not have a wine headache, which is the worst part. So my sister bought this um, make for Christmas for us. And every single time I use it, I don't get a wine headache. So it's awesome. Love that. But yeah, that's pretty much how we ended our night. Garrett had his dad and cousins over and we watched 1923 and had some good food. And that is a tradition that we will miss. We always watched Yellowstone in 1923 with them, but it was a super fun night. And uh, the journey continues. We will keep packing and be out of here in the next seven days.